Hello my beautiful little mugglets, today we are talking about gear and how to get it. I complain a lot about gear RNG, but the truth is there are some good ways to get decent gear, and sometimes it doesn't really matter how the substats roll, because ultimately most stats are useful for a given character. With that being said, let's get the super obvious out of the way and say hunt. In a few short days, Hunt 13 will no longer be dropping 75 gears. As you can see, they still currently do, but once that change goes live, I believe on April 30th, so four days from when I'm recording this, then yeah, if gear drops, it's guaranteed to be 85. And even on 12, the drop chance for 70s will be lowered. So, as far as 13 goes, yes, it's very hard, a lot of people can't clear it yet, but there are a lot of free-to-play strategies going around that involve, you know, a Glorxa, Tower Nor Guard, Crozet, so a lot of easily obtainable heroes. This is my team, which is, you know, 3 exclusive, no big deal, but it's not even 100% clear, so, <laughs> you know, I have to actually consider raising those 3 and 4 star heroes because they might actually be better for the job. However, regardless of your strategy, if you have the best four heroes for Wyvern, you're still not going to be able to do it without good gear. There are of course the other hunts, but Wyvern, in my opinion, is where it's at. Wyvern has the best sets, you can get crit damage from Banshee, HP from Golem, immunity from Azamanic. So another really good place to get gear is just by playing. What I mean by that are event sets. We've had actually several really good sets just from like login events or other events like side stories. Like this health set that I currently have on my Roana, this was from I believe login. It just has really good stats, you know, it's 75 epic. We also had a different 75 epic on the attack set. This may have been login as well. Point is, they are good pieces on usable sets. And the best part with that, of course, is they come with their substats already. The only thing left to RNG is where the substats roll, which, yeah, I mean, could make a potentially great piece not that good. In a lot of cases, those four substats are all usable on someone. So I'm not totally sure if I should even mention this one, but the secret shop was a way I got my first few 85 uh, necklaces and rings. I'm honestly not too sure if this is still like newbie friendly uh, because you know if you're like super efficient you can start doing wyvern at least 11 pretty quickly and won't need to spend your gold here. But if you are going to go with this method I'd highly recommend against buying epics. As you can see they are very expensive. You can maybe consider it if they're like close to perfect. Like this is on the crit damage set you know if that was like speed or attack percent with like four really amazing substats. Which, I mean, there are actually four pretty good substats there, but it's health percent, so yeah. You can also pick up any Mystic Metals you find along the way. But yeah, like gray or green level 85 accessories, so mainly ring and necklace, are pretty cheap. And you can get that main stat, which is the most important thing overall. Later in the game, substats become very important, but, you know, early game, it's just that main stat that you really need. So we also have Labyrinth, Normal, and Hell difficulty. Both give gear. There's a guaranteed drop of one of these pieces when you first kill the boss. It's not an actual set. It seems kind of uh, randomish. But yeah, they're 88 epics. Same for Normal, except they're 67 epics, which still can be alright. In the Labyrinth shop, they also have gear. Personally, I can only recommend the 88 sword. Uh, for PvP, speed is very important, and this is your best bet at getting a, so some very nice speed on a speed set piece. It's an 88, it starts with 5, it's epic, it's like your best bet to get good speed. This is probably like my 5th or 6th sword, still haven't gotten good speed rolls, but hey, that's the game. No. 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 Yes. <laughs> There is also a Tomatin Tower every month, you know, we get these boxes like uh, on the big floors, the Tomatin Tower reward chest on floor 95, 85, so, you know, 75. I've personally never had good luck with these, but hey, let's give it another try, shall we? I personally always just go for the speed ring here because my highest speed set ring only has 8 speed on it, so I'm just kind of always hoping there's no speed at all on that one. Again don't usually have good luck here. For this particular box where we have the 78 epics, I personally would go with the crit set attack. It's just very versatile. Crit set is a two-piece set. That's in general, of course, if you already have a big handful of crit chance attack percent rings, then, you know, go for whatever else you need. They're all decent, you know. Attack set attack percent is probably the least desirable. Then we have health set health percent. Very versatile as well. Health is a two-piece set. Same with defense set, I guess. Personally, I would either go with the crit chance attack or the, uh, Health at health. Well, let's go ahead and try this one. Yep, that's garbage. As I said, don't usually have very good luck. Let's try again. That one's a little bit better. Could potentially, you know, if it just goes to crit chance and damage. Could could be good. For the rest of the boxes, I just wait until that day comes where I actually need 
uh, necklace and ring charms. But yeah, if you're lucky enough, I mean, you should be doing automaton tower anyway, so... There you go. Abyss is the same story. You can get some amazing lifesteal pieces here. 88 epics with their fixed substats. For example, Moonlight Zerato benefits from all of these stats on all of the high lifesteal pieces, so it's an amazing set for him. There is also Adventure Mode. You can see we got a 71 crit damage set, crit damage necklace with pretty good subs, honestly. Attack speed, crit chance, and health. You know, it's quite good. Again, these are mostly one-time things, but story mode isn't very hard, so if you're really lacking gear, you know, it's a really good place to get some. Granted, of course, you're not already done with story. I guess I'll go ahead and mention Arena here, even though, again, this is one of those things I don't have very good luck with. And for some reason, all Arena pieces have effect resistance on them. I know, I know effect resistance can be good for PvP because there's like debuffs and stuff, but like why on the crit damage set? Regardless, they are 88 epics, so especially if you're like struggling to get good rings and necklaces, then like pretty much regardless of how the substats roll, like if you're early on in the game, the main set there alone is worth it. Then we come to one of my favorite methods of getting gear, although mostly it's just painful. Yeah, Steel Workshop. I, I've been wanting to craft some rings. You can see we have quite a few of these Drake Claws, but I thought maybe it'd make for a fun video. But yeah, in case you didn't know, rings and necklace weren't actually here the whole time. They were added, like, not so long ago. But yeah, before that even, it was a good way to get speed speed boots. This is how I got, like, almost all of my speed speed boots, because, because there's a lot of RNG, you know, first it has to be on the speed set, then, you know, the main set has to be speed. The subsets at that point don't matter too much in most cases when you're just going purely for speed, so this is still a good way to get speed set speed boots, but, you know, now we also have the option for rings, which again, I definitely need a faster speed set ring, so, um, gonna try that later. If you are gonna do this method, I'd highly recommend you have 333 on your steel workshop with uh, the hearts of Orbis. Again, you can go do adventure mode if you don't have them. Uh, by this time, we have enough to max out almost all of the buildings. Well, at least like three buildings and then some crap other buildings like Forest of Souls. <laughs> oh yeah, there's one I almost forgot about because I actually don't like it very much. And that's equipment conversion. I just haven't had very good luck with this at all. But it is an option, I guess, though you already have to have not necessarily good gear, but at least high level gear to make other high level gear. So let's say we want a crit damage necklace, because honestly, what other necklace is there in the game besides crit damage necklaces? They did make it cheaper, they did make it easier. So as you can see, just one plus 15 purple will almost give us enough for an epic. The somewhat bad thing is you have to stick to 85s, because as soon as you throw, say, a 67 in there, you have a chance, a 50% chance in this case, to get a 67 instead of an 85. The color doesn't really matter, so we could throw this blue 85 in there. You can see it goes up to epic. And yes, now we do have a 100% chance for an 85, but now the set is random. So if we want to keep that rage set, then we have to look for another rage piece. Oh wait, you don't have another rage piece? Well, too bad. If you have another 85 epic, doesn't matter the main stat here, but you just like want to re-roll the substats pretty much, then yeah, you can do that. It costs all 15 of those levels worth of enhanced materials, all the gold you use to enhance it, as well as an additional 95k gold to actually do it, but then you have different random substats. Again, I don't really like this system. I guess it's okay. It just still requires too much just for a chance at better stats, and then you have to upgrade it, and then that's RNG too. But yeah, I guess if you're super desperate like I was for fast speed set rings, then try it. It's just, I made about five speed set rings, and four of them didn't have speed substats, and the one that did, didn't roll into it, except at 15 once. So, um, okay. I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> so you got yourself some gear, you're ready to rock. Oh wait, it's still at plus zero, because you don't have any enhanced materials. Or maybe you do, but you don't know how to use them. Why are you playing this game? Just got done with some sexy automaton tower, you got this cool, Crit chance, crit damage, crit set attack percent ring from the chest. Now you want to raise it. Well, you can either use charms. Those are actually quite a bit cheaper than using smaller gear, but not everyone just has a bunch of charms laying around. So you could spam adventure mode for a while, get some low level gear and throw it into there. Do be aware that that's going to be expensive though. Otherwise, the arena shop, you can get some charms or the... Uh, Labyrinth shop, you can get some ring and necklace charms. But yeah, to keep my inventory not overflowing, I typically do like to start with the little stuff anyway and just see how our luck goes. Mm, crit damage, you know, it's actually looking pretty good so far. Give us flat attack, thanks. How about some flat health? You haven't done flat health yet. Oh, okay. 
So at this point you want to be done with this ring and just not look at it anymore. And next time you want to upgrade a, a different, potentially better ring, then throw that one in there. We also have this plus 9 epic ring that looks like, from its substats, that it actually hasn't been upgraded at all. So we're going to go ahead and throw that one in there as well, along with this bad boy. And you know, that's extremely expensive as well, 330k gold for plus 9. Did I... Did... Ow. But... Let's see what happens. We got crit chance, we got health, we got speed. This one also looks like it's pretty much not been upgraded, but you know, it's cool. But yeah, you get the gist of upgrading gear, feel sad for a while, and get back to the grind. This has been Mr. Moglet. It's been a pleasure hosting on the uh, Mugati channel. The hell am I doing now? <laughs> but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hunt is gonna be your best bet for spammable stuff, however, the thing is, even if you like don't get good gear straight from Hunt, you do still get a Biz Drake clause, and then you can lessen the RNG a little bit. You can choose to have them 85s at least. That's pretty much it. The set, the subsets, and the main set are still gonna be random, but at least you can choose 85s. If you can do 13 on the 30th, then you'll get 85s anyway, but you'll, you know, that extra chances extra rolls of the dice. But yeah, all I can really say is keep an eye out for special events. The event gear, side story, login, whatever, that sort of gear has been some of the best I've ever gotten, which I know is kind of sad, but there's like less RNG involved there, and RNG is powerful and evil. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below if you have your own suggestions about where to get gear, best place, you know, best methods, whatever, drop it down there in the comments. Leaving a like if you haven't do enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.